completed the Micro BDX CWSSB transceiver. And of course, you've seen all these photos before the circuit board, what version it is, and the uh, Redrino and the LCD display, which comes with the kit when you purchase it. Of course, you get the bag of accessories, it has the uh, uh, audio uh, control, the uh, rotary encoder, all your stereo jacks for your CW key, uh, your mic, PTT, and headphones. You know, you've seen these pictures as well, with all the soldering completed and being used out on my back deck, hooked up to my communications box, which is a 12 volt supply and just monitoring the frequency and uh, using an uh, external uh, speaker uh, had a straight key hooked to it just to see uh, what kind of side tone it had and uh, <coughs> the uh, the battery in that communication box is a 12 volt 7 amp hour battery and uh, it powers a UHF VHF radio in that box, but my plan is to incorporate the micro bid X into a box like this with another UHF VHF radio so I have portable communications to take anywhere I want. And the uh, this was my first try at a micro bid X. I built a, a QCX 40 meter CW QRP rig, but I've really been wanting to do one of these. And come across this uh, for a good deal unbuilt from uh, someone but uh, here I've changed and went to a next next gen 2.8 LCD screen touch control uh, that was one of the mods I found on uh, KD8 CEC uh, Ian Lee uh, blog and here I've got it hooked up I've already started an enclosure for it and I found a knob for the encoder and I've been using uh, my 80 meter dipole just to tune in on frequencies not communicating with anyone just trying it out. The S meter is not hooked up yet I still have to build that mod and install it for the S meter to work properly but uh, the IF shift works, the attenuator works uh, I really like this touchscreen display. And of course, there wasn't hardly any activity on 75, 80 meter in the afternoon when I did this.
crying shame, really, because um, I've seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show, um, and, and I won't say that I'm a fan, but, but I came of age when that thing was hitting the scene, and uh, it, uh, yeah, it, I, I don't know. I, 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 bottom line of this, anything can be ruined if you turn the volume up to 11, and I think you probably would have enjoyed it more if the volume had been reasonable. There, there's no need to do that. Hey, everybody calls me Sam when I first check in. I ain't going to say who it was. I think I got in on a pile up there. Clark, I'm shooting another video. Say something. I got a kick out of that when you said that. Okay, well, I'm going to send you some more pictures. Like I said, I've got uh, my covering over the top uh, housing and everything. And remember, Clark, everything I've done, I built by hand. The uh, aluminum framing, the aluminum outside, everything uh, for the enclosure. Uh, so let me get out of here. Y'all go ahead and talk, and I'll send you some more uh, pictures and a video. WW, WD8WV clear.